Hey guys, welcome to another video. I wanted today's video just to be a short video talking about some of my current favorites. I realize that it's been quite some time before since I filmed a video about my favorites, so I kind of thought, let's sit down, let's talk about it. Um, and also what I realized, I don't like buy that many new things because usually if I find something that I like, I usually stick to it. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. I have no specific order in terms of items. So we're just going to go down the list and we're just going to talk to them in the order that I wrote them down. <laughs> One of my favorite items that I've been using since... I've been using this item since my trip to Portland and that was in March but I've been taking ashwagandha every day I don't have a specific brand that I rave about like the goldie gummies um, goldie yeah goldie gummies and like the blue bottle are pretty solid that's kind of like what I tried out first so I particularly prefer like pills rather than gummies when it comes to vitamins but that's just my own preference so yeah they're good so ashwagandha has a lot of benefits some of the benefits include like helping like your focus and memory muscle strength um it really relieves stress and anxiety and things of that nature and it's just a really good vitamin to have in your repertoire that i've been using and i like it <laughs> so the next item is this laundry basket um, I talked about it in a video, a video prior when I actually got it and had to like actually thrift it. Um, it's this like black laundry basket that's like woven. It's a really, really good material. It has like kind of like scuffs and marks on it that kind of make it like give it character. And maybe that's just how I see it. I'm not sure. But I really enjoy it because before, <laughs> before I had a laundry basket that was like, I think I got it for like a dollar at Walmart. And although it like it did its job by holding my laundry, it was so small. And this item like really kind of like fits in my room and it's not as visibly noticeable as compared to like this bright blue laundry basket that I had before. The third thing that I want to talk about is from Trader Joe's. It is the tea tree shampoo and conditioner first thing that i love about it is that it is cost effective so cost effective i think each bottle is like three three dollars i think um super cost effective and then it also just like gives my scalp like this tingling feeling if you don't like that then you probably don't like it but it gives like my scalp a tingling feel feeling as though it's like really clean and i really enjoy it Typically, in terms of like washing my hair, I kind of stick with Tresemme, but I've been trying this product out. Well, I've tried it out before and I forgot about it. So, last time I went to Trader Joe's, I picked up some more and I've been really, really enjoying it and liking that product. So, so the fourth thing that I want to talk about is something that like I kind of purchased, but I didn't really purchase, kind of, but not really. So it is this Lilabo chapstick lipstick lip balm type of thing. So story time, I actually got this in like those little packages that they give you when you're going on like long trips on the airplane. And I'll have like toothbrush, toothpaste, like those things. Like I, that's where I got it from. And it's amazing. Like I know this sounds crazy, but it's amazing. And so I was just like what is like why is it so good like i kind of stopped the plane it should be trash right but um after i did some research because i'm running out of it i'm running out of it and i wanted to get a new one lilabo 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 is this company that makes a lot of very popular fragrances like um unisex fragrances like tonka 25 another 13 um, and they're like really popular they make popular fragrances and so I'm definitely gonna go and get like the bigger tube from their website but it is like the perfect perfect lip balm for the winter so one of the things that I did go out and purchase that I really really enjoy it is this BB cream from Bare Minerals it gives me a just enough coverage just enough coverage to like kind of like 
blur out some of like my dark marks which I need or want sometimes so I really really enjoy it it's pretty inexpensive it's not I think it's like maybe like 20 20 dollars 20 bucks I don't know but I really like it it doesn't break out my skin which is another big thing and then also it has SPF in it which I enjoy and I'm trying to be more cognizant of wearing SPF <clears throat> now let's talk about toners toners have been all the rave lately they've been people been talking about toners left right and center so witch hazel is a type of toner and so witch hazel along with the ordinary they have a toner that they came out with it was kind of on tiktok saying that like hey um you don't need deodorant anymore and neutralize the smell and then it also helps with the complexion underneath your skin and i kind of talked about this in a past vlog when i actually purchased this so i've been using it for a bit for a while um so the toner from the ordinary um they're not lying they're not lying it definitely does neutralize smell like you just won't smell like anything in terms of changing the skin complexion underneath your underarms I haven't seen I haven't seen any progress regarding that I can't confirm that part in terms of the odor I can definitely do that but what I'm learning is that that's basically the properties of any toner um, witch hazel or like a toner that you can get from like lush or if you get it from the ordinary a lot of them have the same properties I'm not specifically sure why that's the case but they're all like in terms of neutralizing smell they do the job let's see what's next oh no so i've been trying lumi deodorant one of the things is like this unscented tube lumi like deodorant tube now i'm not gonna lie when it comes out of the tube it smells horrible like it smells rancid almost because it's just like how is this your definition of unscented it smells horrible horrible however when it dries down like you don't smell anything so guard deodorant definitely works um it works it just smells bad at first um <laughs> so two other like i guess like beauty products one let me put you on game come 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 come, come. let me put you on game right so i believe it's called hero Hero has pimple patches, right, that you can get from Target. They have them for dark mark. They have, like, this whole product line, right? Okay, you buy, like, six patches, and I think it's, like, 9 to $12, depending on where you get them, right? Crazy. And as a person who has acne-prone skin, um, I use them definitely often, especially when I go to sleep, just so that I don't, like, pick at, like, any, like, whiteheads that I have, but they're just, like, they're just get sucked out at night and these blemish patches 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 first of all you get 36 of them for like three to four dollars one two they work which is also very important and three you can actually find them on amazon or you can find them at walmart they're at my walmart but this um this brand also does have like um patches for dark marks and things of that nature so yeah i'm not spending more money just just to spend more money that doesn't make any sense to me the last thing is with this hair product so there's this moisturizing aunt jackie's like mousse is it a mousse i'm not sure what does the bottle say i'm not sure anyway so i put this in and it really just locks in the moisture for my hair it keeps my curls looking 10 out of 10 love this and it's pretty inexpensive you can really buy it from like literally you can literally buy it from like any beauty supply store 10 out of 10. now going to the last two things the first thing i want to talk to you about is this fruit bowl i know it's random I get it I know I, I I get it I hear it. it's random but it's so helpful though so I have this fruit bowl that sits out on my counter 
we don't actually just keep fruit in it we keep like vegetables that we want to be room temperature as well but it's such a great thing in terms of like reminding myself like okay like eat more fruit like eat an apple or eat an orange don't eat bananas but you know whatever fruits in there because i see it i'm going to gravitate to possibly eat it and then the last thing is another thrift find i was in athens don't ask me why i was in athens a couple of weeks ago and i went to the american thrift store and i found this orange leather wallet i really liked it because of the clasp like the gold clasp that was on there and just kind of like the des design of everything and it's very different than typical things that i have most of my stuff in terms of wardrobe as well as bags and purses are black they're all black so having something colorful is actually very helpful when i'm like looking for my wallet in my bag something that stands out is helpful so that is my last find and that is all that i have for my current days for today thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i'll talk to you guys soon bye